everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is James, and in this video, I want to talk about some Daryl Dixon news. But first, I want to just say, you know, my day was going good. I was thinking about the SpaceX launch. I don't know if you guys, you know, are interested in space in any way, like the James Webb Telescope and the extremely large telescope they're building in Chile. Um, there's a lot of exciting stuff going on and, and space discoveries that's happening. And even, you know, just traveling to space with Elon Musk. And with that guy, you know, I like some stuff. I don't like some stuff about him. But he's done some pretty amazing stuff as far as SpaceX and some of the stuff he's done. And it's not just Elon that did the latest flight four of the starship you know there's a huge team of people behind this so kudos i was you know i was feeling good about humanity like look at our achievements i mean just you know i was up on a cloud i was feeling good about life and humanity up for a moment just a, the slightest moment because it was a successful test flight it was pretty amazing like one of its flaps melted off but it still achieved a landing really amazing stuff but then AMC said, you know what? I heard James was feeling chipper today. He was had a little hope about humanity and and was feeling good. Let's let's shut that shit down. Let's let's make him put his shit and pants on. Why? Because they told us Daryl Dixon's release date, September 29th. I mean, come on, AMC. One thing I just want to say in complete damn seriousness. Get your shit together, AMC. I mean, like I can't be more serious, and I hope you're listening. I know there's a writer's strike, and it pushed some productions back and stuff like that, but that doesn't give you the right to just, well, we're going to tell the public this. Oh, well, that's not what's going to happen. Now let's tell them this. Oh, well, that's not what's going to happen either. Let's just tell them this. And thanks for ruining my dang day, dadgummit. And I only say that because I have to create content for the channel. It's hard to create content for a channel that reviews The Walking Dead when... You don't give us anything. But then, you know, I would probably be bitching that once Daryl Dixon's over, there's nothing else for the rest of the year. So I would probably be bitching about that. So, huh, it's a conundrum. But that's what I want to talk about in this video to you guys about the release date, September 29th. It's a long way away. And, you know, that's the thing. We're, we've got spoiled for sure. We've just had Walking Dead content constantly and for some, it's like, man, that show is just on all the time. It's too much. They should have, you know, they're milking it. They should have in that show, you know, and there's a lot of haters out there. A lot of people that even love the show, but hey, you know, there comes a time you got to end it. You know, there's just a lot of different opinions. But as far as, you know, speaking from uh, my point of view, as far as creating content, it's a godsend, right? It's kind of like, okay, I don't have to wait eight months or 12 months or, you know, whatever between shows or series or or anything like that i've got something to talk about mostly all the time it is hard though when there's just a lot of time to fill september 29th there's just going to be six episodes we did get a couple of photos new photos um hopefully we'll get a trailer soon you know it's going to uh, premiere episode one is going to premiere at tribeca film festival here in just a few days so there'll probably be some leaks or some something. I'm hoping they release a trailer right after that. If they're not going to come out with the show, you know, for a while, maybe they'll at least start giving us uh, some promos, some more promos, another trailer, a good, nice, full trailer after Tribeca. The episodes will follow Janae's group on a violent collision course with the Union of Hope, which is Daryl's side of things, in the fight for France's future. But we do have Carol searching for Daryl. That may take a while. You know, will she find him in the second episode? You know, it's like the ones who live. I thought, you know, Rick and Michelle won't get together till several episodes in, but it was almost immediately. So hopefully they don't do the time skip back and forth or anything like that, showing well, Carol and Daryl gets together in the first episode, and then we see how they got together later, or anything like that. I hope it plays out straightforward. Hope there's no time jumps. I hope it goes maybe two or three, four episodes before they get together. It'd be nice to see it at the end of episode four, and then they have a couple episodes to actually, you know, we see them together. There's just a lot of questions, especially with how's Gimple taking this universe? You know, what's really going to happen? You know, because at one point they were going to do movies and it was going to be totally different. Michonne wasn't going to be involved, or at least in the first one. But then things changed. Time went by and her schedule became open. So they rewrote it. They redid it. They rethought it. So maybe it is true. Gimple is just kind of going with it like, okay, this is what I'd like to happen, but we may have to redo it or rewrite it or rethink it at any time, at any moment. And maybe he is just leaving it open like, you know, if we have to make it where Daryl stays in France and doesn't know about Rick, that's just the way 
you know, it ended up because of production, because of budget, because of AMC, because of actor schedules, whatever. And there's still just a ton of expectations out there from fans. Like, I want to see everyone reunite at Alexandria. Um, someone was talking about it in the comments, and it's like, it's not there anymore. They could create or recreate a little piece of it to maybe seem like they're there or something. But I just don't think uh, what's in a lot of people's minds, which is are different things, but it's kind of like the CRM thing. A lot of people thought... Well, they're the big bad guy. There's going to be a big battle between CRM and Commonwealth and, and all this stuff. And that's just not how it played out whatsoever. So I think a lot of even my theories, your theories, a lot of our theories, you know, just probably isn't what Gimbal's thinking. But hey, we got the release date. We got a couple of photos. You got me going on a rant just because. But I feel better. I'm okay now that I've talked to you guys about it. <sighs> Take a deep breath. I'll be all right. But hey, you guys let me know what you think about it down in the comments below and you know i'll join you there this is james and nashville as always thanks for watching and stay tuned for more dead stuff <laughs>